Step 1. Drag out a high segment plane. You can also set it after you drag it out, it doesn't matter. Anything around 300 should be fine, but it really depends on the size of your scene. Just make it as dense as possible for your need. Step 2. Apply a noise modifier. Check the fractal checkbox. Adjust the Z strength to see the waves. Adjust the scale so that you're generally getting big waves, not the small one. We will handle that later. Don't worry about matching the numbers here. It all depends on the scale of your scene. The only thing you have to focus on is to make sure you are getting the big waves. Adjust and set animation keyframes for the face and refine it further with the frequency. You do not need to keyframe the frequency. You can also animate the gizmo to give the waves a sense of direction, but that is not exactly required. Step 3. Apply a push modifier and assign a negative value to it. The value for the push modifier is up to you. Just make sure that you are getting those sharp ridges you are seeing here. You will see some polygon penetration along the sharp ridges. That's fine. Apply a relax modifier and set the relax value to 1. If the polygon penetration are still too visible, go back to the push modifier and make the value less extreme. This is what you're supposed to be getting by now. Step 4. Add one last noise modifier. This is where we concentrate on the smaller waves within the big waves we have already created. Adjust the scale and Z strength accordingly. Remember, small waves. Now adjust and set animation keyframes for the face and refine it further with the frequency. You do not need to keyframe the frequency. Step 5. Apply a normal material. It doesn't matter what renderer you use because the geometry is already convincing enough. Make that material really shiny and apply it to the plane. Place a directional light such that it is shining from behind. Click Render and enjoy your CG waters. Hope you find this useful.